गरु कतानाय के तुमनी देदास विसिहतर विसर्जन पनात के तुम पते ही कार का सब आवस्था वेदी आधा दिन विसिपाये कोलाई विसितुना सेनसुरादा विवादे एक गैने न अमात्यां सहा एवाय आटते आती अनेकुद देपात में तुहा आयतन वलिन अदाल अंक एकसिया हैटा हाय सहा तुंसिया तिस देख दारना वैशिष्यान गेन संप्रदान कुलव एक एक वैदसतान यी सियलुमा पुनरावर्तन वियदाम हा मूलधन वियदाम रुपियाल दाहे किन कपा हरिये जुमाई मामा योजना करेंगे गरु कथाना एक तुमनी आप ये तारुना जीवन तुंडमान अमात्य तुमान ये बाहरी Tibena mema amatian si versi si pelibadan tu, mula mula kata kiri mata mata labi mema pelibadan tu mama satu tu enoh. Gawur tu, jiwan tu nda mana berhal, uru udam amai cerah, indu puru padat terikin dra, inda mukia mana amai chill, kadanda achi kadat tule amai cerah iran daban inda adi pedai lom. Aurudaya ya partnernar, takapanarik pitpad, India bangsa vali, Malaysia makhlin, oru udam thale varah, mikha phale phale sumai kulanen kudiya oru kridatay amen anindu kondori kanda oru varah, irakanda amechar, adalum tanudaya makhl Inda nartit ke mikha khastaman or sulun lagil India abler inda band engrodaya tele totanggalilum ena ya etumadi utpatti halilum tangude biarve chindi tholil pada aram binti irnu uru wadanggal karanderikan doane nelayil adai itu Palavidam mana sel tertanggal ayar mau perhatikan dia uru nalla no kile, awal sila sel tertanggal ayar am bidirik kerar, adat ke awal uru parat, engul uru parat kile awal ikut nangun modal kan seli tu kulla berempat orang. Ewa ke ema, ema amatya ansya, khususnya ema me rata apitah dirg istihasa ati beno. Apa bauh sista cara itu anu kulab, wabai dagabai, gamai panselai, kena sengkal pihat samagat, eva gaya mana wasra didaah kat wedi, waris sista cara ati bina, ratak, api selasum gatav, api janata awat, paniya jalaya labadi me kriya damya. Hari itu kerana ini kena pertanyaan tertib. Isal lese, mewasta wedi, merate, artikya, hakili gina awasta awak. Isal pragdanyak, me sastra itu, wiyadam kiri ema, itaram lesi pas karya nimi. Namut, paripalan me awasin. Dengan nadat tu yang jalan sampah dan krama bawa nadat tu kiri medhi khaling api anugerahnya kerap kriya nama yang sempurna emm kanapita haru min samahar dewa sidu na ayakin ke pilih bandawa mama kana gatu yang jalan sampah dan mandal ya. Kriyatma ke bima pilih bandar apa panah tati bino. Ini panah te, bodup kalaman akar tanat ti bino. General manager post is dia, right? Now there is a, these are all very qualified engineers who hold these positions. Now what has happened is, the Chairman and the board of directors have virtually taken over all the powers of the general manager. 
right? The disciplinary matters, uh, promotion issues, recruitment issues, all of which have to be in the past, board takes a decision, but finally the general manager has to sign off. But now it has all, all the powers have been virtually appropriated by the board of directors against the uh, provisions of the act itself. Act gives certain powers to the general manager and the, uh, uh, the, the, the officers who run the, because we have additional uh, GMs, uh, general managers, there are about uh, several positions. Now there is an attempt to even suppress some of the positions and then bring other uh, people on, on to those positions. There seems to be some unnecessary political interference. I know the young minister may not be aware. These things would have started even before he took over. <laughs> the poor minister can't even appoint a chairman. This is his, his position. Because everything is being controlled by other uh, political parties, perhaps. That may be the reality in this government. Because the, the credibility of the entire uh, governing elite is virtually destroyed among the people, but then still they control too. They have virtual absolute control. Uh, the new minister, I do not know whether he is approving of what is happening, but these things are totally in violation of the uh, legislation that has set up the National Water Supply and Drainage Board, Mr. Minister. I think you will have to carefully look into this because uh, you are a new minister, but then you can't allow them to do something totally out of the uh, uh, legal uh, uh, authority that is bestowed on the general manager. General manager has a certain uh, powers. Now, particularly, the Vinaya Pili Bandava, Usasvim Pili Bandava, Bandavagenim Pili Bandava. Me Pudu Kalamanakara Tumata Tina Aitia. Some poor name, then, Adekshikamanle, Udurgana Tibino. See, May Pili Bandava, Kalpana Karan Taklamang in La Sitino. I think Evagema, then, now I think there are, it, it is time that we look at now, there has been an attempt to uh, import uh, transmission pipes, distribution pipes, in, uh, for, for almost uh, 4,000 uh, kilometers length, all of which is now lying idle in the uh, uh, Colombo port. It's strewn all over the place for the past several years. As the former government came to, the, this government came to power, they went on a very ambitious program to uh, have almost 78% coverage, uh, water supply coverage for the entire country. Now this was a, I, it's a very uh, uh, impossible thing. Now for the past 70 years, we have been able to cover barely about 50% of the country. Now within five years, they were attempting to cover almost 24% uh, more. 70 years, we were able to only cover about 50, uh, 50 odd percent of the country's uh, length and breadth by uh, pipe-borne water supply. So there was this ambitious program. Samata Vatura Kena Me Sankalpe Uda Eka Paratama Aurudhu Hattayavatthi Se Apita Pulluankaman Labune Siyeta Panahakvitara Me Nala Haraha Jalela Badi Me Kriyada Me Karan Namut Aurudhu Pahakin Eka Tavat Siyeta Visi Pahakin Vedi Karan Api Samata Jalaya Kena Me Sankalpe Kriyatma Karan Te Anamai Kela Kiwa Eka Sampoor Nem Asartha Gwela Thibino Asartha Gwuna Vitaran Nivai Then Pipe Goda Gahila Varai Salli Ke Vaganda Be Okka Maane Nagara Gatta Meka Spodda Kalpana Kaariva Now banks have refused to pay the LCs 
so now the the demerage is co uh, being collect uh, is collecting so if, if you see take the demerage it will be uh, several times more than the uh, uh, value of the uh, pipes that are lying in the yards of the sri lanka ports authority so this is the uh, extent to which the total inefficiency and this utter ambitious unrealistic ambitious program has landed the country and the water board into a serious problem so this has to be looked at of course there are, there, there was infilling program possible there are certain excess capacities in our uh, treatment plants maybe so but then all of this could have been avoided if there had been if there had been some uh, thought about the impossibility of such uh, targets which they set up then it is also important for me to talk about uh, some of the uh, pending projects now pali aru uh, project uh, it is a project to have uh, you have to first put up a reservoir right you have only allocated a meager sum of 250 million rupees that's hardly enough to do anything leave alone doing a feasibility study it may not suffice right but then now look at we already have a problem with the eranabadu tank if you are going to supply water to the north right there had been problems with the kilinochi farmers we have had problems in the past it's time that we think of some uh, dedicated reservoirs for water supply in this country after kalatuwawa uh, labugama uh, um, ambatale uh, kasalri so so many dedicated reservoirs have been created way back in the 50s way back in the 50s soon after independence ever since then we didn't have dedicated reservoirs for water supply in this country uh, only uh, few years back peraru was in vaunia was set up as a dedicated reservoir because uh, if you try to share with the irrigation purposes we run into problems like we ran in the eranamadu tank we spent money and raised the uh, capacity of the tank in order to supply water to the uh, people in the jaffna peninsula but the kelinochi farmers their own brothers refuse saying that we need uh, that water for our own cultivation purposes so this has this landed us in a serious trouble so therefore it's time that we think of some dedicated reservoirs now two of those reservoirs is talked about is vioya and jati mahana reservoirs which we have to set up one for the uh northwestern and the other for the western province now this vioya and yatimahana we have been talking about it for uh, um, several years now but has still not been finalized because we have to concentrate on the but kalambu district is in a serious problem then our uh, 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 learned speakers area matar hambantota those areas jin nilwala project right there had been various issues about corruption various things recently we had a problem in ara lavana badake prashne matare e prashnat man danna meka me taakshanikawa hari danumakin me gana kalpana karala me chodana karunawada nadda kiyana eka ara moya kata prashnat tibena othana ithin e prashne thamai e hinda thamai e wele mangala samarwira amathya tuman හිටිද දී එතුමන් මුදල් අමාත්‍යවරයා හැටියට මේ ව්‍යාපෘතිය සකස් කරලා අපිට ඉවර කරන්න අපි උත්සාහයක් කළේ නමුත් දැන් ඒ ගැනත් දැන් නැවත පරීක්ෂණයක් කරන්න ඕනේ කියලා ඒක කඩන්න ඕනේ කියන උත්සාහයක් ඔතන තිබෙනවා නමුත් we can't just go on looking for this uh, uh, this plaster solutions to very serious problems similarly we had a problem even in the in the kalutara district this issue of uh, salt water in intrusion is a common problem in most of these water schemes so we had to be uh, this is a serious lesson but i don't think we should immediately just because there was a flood problem put the whole blame on the uh, 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 salt water barriers that was put up but i think there was also issue relating to other Uh, salt water intrusion because of the, uh, the 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 flow or the uh, right near the uh, sea where the water that is where this uh, uh, 
So I think we'll have to look at it, what the scientific issue uh, problems are about. Then, <clears throat> then we have also seen, we started the, uh, because of the problem to uh, repay our international debt, uh, the uh, uh, Candy North Pathadumbra project, almost 95% complete. But a very small amount has to be paid in order to complete the project which benefits Pathadumbra electorates, Haripattu electorate, Yatinura electorate, many such electorates in the Kandy Northern area. Almost, uh, uh, I think, 400,000 connections could be given. Now, everything has been completed. Only 5% needs to be finalized. But the uh, Chinese Exim Bank has stayed the uh, loan. And therefore, the whole project is uh, at a standstill. I think the Honourable Minister needs to talk to the ERD. Of course, you know, this is beyond his control, where the government has to, the, you know, there's a big problem with the uh, uh, Chinese uh, external debt and the Paris Club and their negotiations, because they say, you know, you have to have a, uh, equal treatment between the debt, between the creditors. So equal treatment issue, uh, the President and the Finance Ministry is caught up in this whole mess, I hope they will get out of this uh, situation soon and these issues will be resolved and the remaining loan amount could be disbursed to finalize these uh, projects. Similarly, I would like to also talk about, now it's time that I think our country is in a situation where uh, we cannot make heavy public investment even on a public utilities all the time. It's time we had to think about the PPP projects, public-private partnerships. The <coughs> World Bank, ADB and others uh, talked about uh, the Valivita project. Right? So that issue, everything was done, but of course our engineers in the water board were not very happy because they, <laughs> they, want, uh, they, don't, they think that this is going to be totally privatized. Right? But it is not to be totally privatized, but it is to be, it's a public-private partnership. We have to move towards that. We have to move towards attracting some private capital onto our new uh, water supply schemes. Otherwise, it will take a long time with the, the type of problem they have got into. We may not be able to make such large public investments for uh, massive treatment plants uh, to supply water to our people. So similarly, we have several other problems. We have Rugam Kitul issue in the Batiklo district. There used to be, there, there was a plan to complete that reservoir, both for irrigation and for water supply. In Batiklo district, the Rugam Kitul project was proposed, but it had uh, not come to total fruition. And we have, <clears throat> we have had similar problems uh, in uh, in the northern area, in, towards Trinkamali, also Yarnoya uh, is a problem. Ch Pulmode area, the, the water quality, there is a serious issue. So uh, we, we need to look at those issues and uh, try to improve the water quality in those areas. Now, while talking about the water quality, now I am told that certain chemicals have been imported which have now, uh, the, the, they are, uh, it's already expired. Past the expiry date, they are sending the chemicals to treatment plants. Now to Muthur, last week, they had sent a uh, uh, large amount of chemicals which are used, but the bags, see, they have already expired. So while when we are using the expired chemicals, various other complications can come up. But I do not know why they had sent only to the eastern province. Because they, are, they don't have laboratories to even test uh, the, uh, these chemicals. So those chemicals which have been already expired had now been imported and are being sent to some of these treatment plants. Please look into this because I, in fact, checked with the DGM supplies in the morning. He gave me some explanation. I am told some unions are also up in arms about these issues, these purchases which have happened. We have had purchases in the, in the health sector uh, regarding uh, expired drugs. We already have problems 
but then if you are going to have <laughs> expiry issues in uh, chemicals that are being used for purification in our uh, water treatment plants, that will create a further problem. You see? So therefore, I asked the minister, please clarify these issues regarding issue of expired chemicals to uh, some of the treatment plants, despite uh, certain protests in the, within the uh, water board and uh, some of the trade unions. So these issues have been uh, brought out. Similarly, like in the health sector, we should not be uh, allowing uh, any such thing to happen, if at all. This is veracity has to be checked. But this, this was brought to my notice only this morning. <clears throat> so I have been talking, but then the other issue is about the Heather Oil project. Heather Oil project is to benefit the uh, people of the Potuville area. Now Potuville, as you know, Mr. Minister, is a fast developing tourist, uh, tourism area because of the uh, so-called uh, um, uh, windsurfing facilities, because that's one of the best windsurfing spots in the entire world. Therefore, we get large number of tourists coming to Potuville, but there is a serious water shortage there. Uh, in order to settle the water shortage and also to irrigate almost 20,000 acres in that area and increase the paddy production, the, uh, uh, this project will be very, very helpful. And that uh, we may try to uh, implement the project in the past, but whenever uh, that is being mooted, what happens is there is always a problem with the Sembalandu farmers and the Potuvil farmers. Right? There is protest saying that uh, this water is going to be taken away, which should be uh, retained for, uh, for the people in the Sembalandu area. And these are, these are unnecessary political issues, like how Kilinochi farmers had protested again sending water to Jaffna, now Siembalandu farmers are also taking up the same issue. But this is all misplaced fears. There is enough water for both the Siembalandu people and for Potuville people. I think uh, we must try and allay the fears of the farmers and the uh, people uh, in the coastal areas of the Potuville district and try and implement that project. Because Honor that's a Honorable Member, your time is almost yes. over. Yeah, yes, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. So I'm, I'm only trying to bring these matters to the notice of the Minister. And once again, may I <coughs> congratulate the Minister. You are some time? No, no. No, I can uh, My that. time is up, right? Yeah. Yeah. So... Ah, right. Okay. So <laughs> the, uh, with those uh, matters, I would like to also uh, talk about the... Uh, 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 the other <coughs> issues, particularly now, now we, I think the minister has to uh, quickly look at uh, issues pertaining to. I think uh, I have mentioned to him before he took over the ministry. In fact, he asked me for some advice. Uh, so when the young minister came to me, I told him uh, for the plantation areas, right. It's very difficult for you to be finding uh, uh, state funding to uh, give water supply, but the World Bank WASIP project is a very good opportunity. So WASIP project is now almost concluded, but they have given an additional 40 million, I am told. But then unfortunately, they have added <laughs> Kurunayagala and Gampaha districts also to that project. Whereas uh, with, a, with a meager sum of 40 million, I, I do not know whether you will be able to utilize or di divert all that uh, money because it's a World Bank project. World Bank is very proud of this project. I think I must congratulate the former project director, Mr. Uh, engineer Ranatunga. He's, I think, one of the senior most uh, engineers in the uh, 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 National Water Supply and Drainage Board. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, this project, because they are, it's a very unique project that they use um, different types of uh, treatment uh, uh, trials. So there has been experimentation with different treatment uh, 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 trials through which even other countries could benefit. Because we have found ways to inoculate and try and uh, improve water quality without using very expensive 
treatment facilities because treatment plants are very expensive but then cost effective treatment facilities have been uh, devised api walapana mantrutumatat meka balapanawa e pattatat meka itama wedagat me yojanawak mokada me world bank project ek wasip project is a very good project i think we have to because that's uh, because sometimes when you look at the amount of money we are spending on treat treatment plants you see we have to look for some cost uh, effective new technologies i think this project has allowed us to test various different method methodologies and it has been a success and similarly i think uh, another neglected area is the community water supply department uh, mr minister i know you have a state minister handling that uh the controversial uh, minister who has now been banned from the house also for having his uh, his boisterous activities in the house but that's i'm not going to deal with that but then that department is a very important department but of course the water supply uh, board national water supply and drainage board has to give technical support without that technical support i don't think the community water supply schemes can survive because i there is general support by the board but i think we need to have very uh, good sustained uh, advice being given to all the um, cbos community based organizations who are running this me praja mula samvidhan me me vyapruti නඩත්තු කිරීමේදී විශාල ප්‍රශ්න රාශියකට මුණ දෙනවා. එවට ටෙක්නිකල් සපෝට් විතරක් නෙවෙයි ආම්පන් ඒ වගේම අවශ්‍ය ට්‍රීට්මන්ට් කෙමිකල්ස් ඇන්ඩ් ඕල් දීස් තින්ග්ස් දේ හැව් ලොට් ඔෆ් ඩිෆිකල්ටිස්. මෝස්ට් ඔෆ් දෙම් ආ ෆේලින්ග්. මේන්ටෙනන්ස්. යා මේන්ටෙනන්ස් ඉස් ඇ ඉෂ්යු. දිස් ෆේලියර් ඉෆ් ඉට් ඉස් බී ඇරෙස්ටඩ් ඇ තින්ක් දෙර් හැස් ටු බී ඇ බෙටර් කෝඩිනේෂන් බිට්වීන් ද නැෂනල් වෝටර් සප්ලයි බෝඩ් ඇන්ඩ් ඒ කොමියුනිටි වෝටර් සප්ලයි ඩිපාර්ට්මන්ට්. ඇයි හොප් ද ඔනරබල් මිනිස්ටර් විල් ටේක් දිස් ඉන්ටු අකවුන්ට් ඇන්ඩ් ඇයි විෂ් ද මිනිස්ටර් ඕල් ද සක්සස් ඉන් ද කමින් ඉයර් ඉන් රනින් දිස් මිනිස්ටරි. ටැන්ක් යු. ටැන්ක් යු. ඔනරබල් සී බී රත්නායක්. යෙස් ඔනරබල් මී සේ ඉස් දෙර් ඇනිතින් ටු බී එක්ස්ප්ලේන්ඩ්. ඔනරබල් ස්පීකර් යු කැන් ටේක් දිස් ෆ්‍රෝම් මයි ටයිම් බට් ඇයි වුඩ් ජස්ට් ලයික් ටු ඇඩ්‍රස් ඇ ෆියෝ ඔෆ් ද සීරියස් කන්සර්න්ස් පුට් ෆෝවර්ඩ් බයි the honorable member first of all thank you for your kind words but i'm even more in debt to you for the accusations because it's given me a chance to clarify certain matters so to begin with the gm post uh, once i had taken over as the minister for water supply in january 2019 it was during my tenure the first female gm of the water board was appointed with complete powers the board and the chairman they were restricted within the act and there was a check and balance because i was micromanaging to that extent and apart from that honorable member i would also like to just give a few updates in terms uh, with regards to the pipes that you had mentioned that are in the harbor with you know um, money which we haven't paid for i would like to say on the third month of me becoming a minister we started negotiations with the port, uh, with um, cict as well and to be honest these these pipes were bought at the rate of 100 odd million rupees at that point of time and eventually it came up to 1.2 billion just in demerages so we were able to negotiate a cut price on that and right now all pipes have been taken out they have been distributed but there is one issue of laying the pipes which we are talking to those um, relevant local authorities and we are confident we'd be able to execute that post the budget and uh, there's also one um, fact that was misrepresented in for over the past 70 years it's not that we barely reached 50% of pipe water coverage in fact we've reached 60.4% from the water board alone apart from the water board we are working with like you said the department of community water close to 5000 cbos are working with us that's roughly about 15% so uh we have gone further but totally 95% of the country's population have access to water but i must admit as the relevant minister subject minister that uh, there is an issue with the quality of water and also the issue with uh, local governments not being equipped to deal with this matter so we are coming to a well consensus on that and honorable member I, i would just like to remind you since i am a young minister who is up and coming i am learning the ropes and in order when i, when I dealt with issues with the water sector just a few months ago in parliament i had uh, requested a meeting with all the former ministers of water under the chairmanship of the prime minister but honorable member you did not uh, make it for that meeting had you come we would have been able to come to a more um, wide consensus on the matter hopefully you'll be able to attend the next meeting and apart from that with relation to all the water projects that have stalled including 
WASIP, Irana Maru, all these uh, controversial issues, I will be uh, including it in my statement at the end of my speech. Thank you. Thank you. Honorable C.V. Ratnayaka. Thank you.